hearing, you know. And how was playing with Mick Jagger? Oh, that was the most was amazing different. experience ever. Um, the thing about the thing about Mick Jagger that was very unusual was we would rehearse, um, and you know when you rehearse, you know you you maybe will play the same song mm -hmm. ten times in a row, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, to rehearse, Usually, you're learning yeah, it, right? Yeah. So normally in rehearsal, you know, we sit around like this. How does it go again? And yeah, 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 let's try again. We're kind of learning it, right? Yeah. Well, you, Mick doesn't do that. No. Mick starts it and says, "Okay, let's try it." And he goes, "All right." And he fucking he starts going nuts like From Mick Jagger. And he starts going. And he's jumping around. And he's doing all the Mick Jagger moves. <laughs> and I'm of course, serious. he is a Mick Jagger. Every take. It's not like he just says, "Oh, people are here now. I'm going to be Mick Jagger." Mm. I mean, he walks in the room and he goes. All right, and he looks at you all real like, and he's doing all the moves and all. I mean, every <laughs> time, every song in rehearsal, mm -hmm. not just like, okay, it's showtime now. Mm. He's like that. He's enjoying it. Every moment of, of jamming. Mm. I mean, every second. He's, you know how he runs up and down the stage like you mm. see him on, with the Rolling Stones? He does that in practice. <laughs> he does that in his living room. You're sitting mm. at the house with him, and you're listening to a song, and he's he like, starts... Rocket. I mean, he's Mick Jagger oh, okay. all the time. You go to his hotel room, mm. and uh, you open the door, and you hear music, and there'll be five or six girls all dancing, <laughs> sometimes naked, <laughs> sometimes and there's not. Mick Jagger doing that. in the middle, <laughs> dancing in the, in the kitchen. <laughs> I mean, he's Mick Jagger all the time, and I found that to be well, really... Actually, he's not acting. No. That's what I mean. And I found that to be the most amazing thing I'd ever seen in my life. He was like a real rock star. He wasn't oh. like a poser. Oh. I mean, he, you, I mean, he's dancing in his kitchen. <laughs> I came to Tokyo one time. I don't know what for, for something. And uh, the Stones were in Tokyo. And I heard Mick was having a party. Mm -hmm. It was years ago. Mm -hmm. And I walked into this private club. There's all these security guys there. And I was with Bernard Fowler. So they go, oh, yeah, come on in, you mm -hmm. guys. Awesome, you know. And I walk in, and it was about 75 or 80 girls. And they were all dancing, and they all had no shirts on. Good. And, the, and then Mick Jagger uh -huh. was in the middle with no shirt on. Uh. Same thing, just like Mick Jagger. And the girls were all like, wow. I mean, you know, he's 60 years old. I mean, he it just... Doesn't look... Yeah, he's the most all. inspiring guy mm. I'd ever been around. As far as... So he's a really Mr. Rock and Roll. Huh? Oh, he calls me Stevie. It's Mick Jagger. I'm in Paris today watching Formula One. Tomorrow I'll be in New York for the Super Bowl. You can try me on my cellular telephone. You know what I mean? He's I like a Mick that. Jagger, man. It's like so hot. Rod Stewart was never like that. No. Uh, Terrence Trent Darby, he'd, you know, he'd show up at my house. He'd be asleep on my couch. You know? <laughs> Mick Jagger, I don't think he sleeps, man. He's just like, <laughs> very hot, very awesome. Rock and roll, huh? Very, very awesome, oh. man. It was like he was... So big, big inspired. Incredible inspiration. Mm. Incredible inspiration. And this summer, I opened up for the Rolling Stones mm. in uh, Canada. Really? And uh, there was 500,000 people there. Wow. And I mean, he's just, he flew in all the way from Europe, mm -hmm. did the concert, and flew right back to Europe. And I was like, <laughs> so, so that was the best thing I got out of Mick Jagger was that he re-inspired me to. How did you guys get? I have no idea. Oh. He wouldn't tell me. I met him. I've met him many times, uh -huh. and I've had cocktails with him. Where, well, he wasn't drinking, but he poured me drinks at parties. I watched him in the studio in 1994, I think, or 93. He was doing Voodoo Lounge, and I went to the studio, and uh, I watched him sing, mm -hmm. "Hey, hey, you got me rocking mm -hmm. now." And he was in the studio, "Hey, hey," you know, Mick Jagger. Same Mick Jagger. Singing. And I watched him do that, and I was like, "Wow!" So then years later, I don't know why, I got a phone call one day, and. Um, they said, Mick Jagger wants to see you. And I was like, mm -hmm. oh, when? Oh, thanks. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, when? Yeah, yeah. And, that, and that's all it was. And then he called me. And, he uh, called you. Yeah. And he, um, and I didn't think it was him. I was, thought it was Jimmy Dunlap, you know, my friend who makes the picks and okay. the Wawa pedals. I thought he was teasing. You know, hello, it's Mick Jagger. And I'm like, I'm like, fuck off, Jimmy. I, I'm working out right now. I'll call you back. And he goes, no, no, it's really me, man. It's really me. And it was, and I, I guess, it was, okay, it's you. And I didn't think it was him, I swear. Still, you don't believe it. Uh, it two uh, times it took me, he was laughing, uh -huh. and he's, no, no, from the studio, remember last night we were in the studio? I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Sorry. It's just like in a movie, you know? I was like, <laughs> wow. It's kind of spinal tap. <laughs> yeah, very spinal tap. Very, that happened to me once before when David Lee Roth called me. Oh, yeah? I thought it was my friend. He's like, can I speak to Stevie Solace? This is David Lee Roth. And I was like, Okay. Right. Who the fuck oh, is this? Right. <laughs> I laughed. I started laughing in his face. Because <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was funny. And he was like, Will, is he there? And I was like, oh, shit. It's really him. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy.